One of the most important concepts in organic chemistry is hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is a type of intermolecular force that helps to bind molecules together. To examine how this phenomena works, let's look at a molecule of water. Water molecules are made of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. The bonds that hold the oxygen and hydrogen atoms together are polar covalent, meaning that because the oxygen is more electronegative, it is able to draw the electrons from hydrogen closer to itself. This gives the oxygen a slightly more negative charge and the hydrogens a slightly positive charge. When multiple molecules of water meet, the positively charged hydrogen atoms become attracted to the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen, forming a relatively strong connection between the molecules. Hydrogen bonds can occur in any case where hydrogen is covalently bonded to a highly electronegative atom, for example, to an oxygen atom in an acetic acid molecule. Even though hydrogen bonds are the strongest type of intermolecular force, they can still be broken if there is enough energy in the form of heat to disrupt the forces of attraction. When enough heat is applied to water, its hydrogen bonds break and boiling occurs, turning the water into a vapor. When the temperature goes down, the water molecules can recombine to form water again. This is one of the things that makes hydrogen bonding so important in the real world. The bonds are strong enough to hold molecules together, but weak enough that they can be broken. This means that molecules can easily bind, break, and reform again during chemical processes, such as in DNA replication. If this is all a little bit too abstract, then let's try and look at it another way. Let's pretend that this dog represents a molecule capable of hydrogen bonding. Dogs have a very strong sense of smell, so they are always looking for interesting things to sniff. At the same time, dogs have special scent glands on their rear ends that put out a very pungent odor. So, one end of the dog is very scent rich, much the way a negatively charged pole on a molecule is very electron rich, while the other end is very scent poor, the same way the positively charged pole of a molecule is electron poor. When multiple dogs meet, their noses are attracted to the scent emanating from other dogs' rear ends and will cause them to be pretty closely bound together. This is similar to the way that the positively charged hydrogens become attracted to the negatively charged electrons on the electronegative atom. If there is enough energy, such bonds can easily be broken, but the bonds can still be easily reformed.